Do as I say, not as I do, because I mess up in this video and end up fixing it. All right, so the materials that are needed are what is shown in the picture, which is an Xbox One controller, obviously. Three rainbow loom bands, if you know what those are, or things similar to the size shown in the picture. A ch piece from the game Sorry, and a serrated knife. It is important that the knife is serrated. So I was loading up a game of PUBG, and, which I haven't played in like, gosh, who knows like five years and I only played like one game when I did have it and I was thinking damn I'd, I'd kick some ass if I had a control freak and I was like ah too bad I lost mine and I was thinking you know what I'd never lose mine if I just kept it on there but I don't even have one I was thinking what could substitute it and I was thinking hmm maybe a sorry piece from the game sorry think about it this part on the thumbstick bam Well, imagine it on the thumbstick. And then the ultimate control freak, the most precision you've ever seen in a video game. And if it was tied down properly, that's all it would take. And so obviously if you try to tie it down, it's very slippery and the string just falls off. So let's move over to the actual prototype. I was like, oh geez, it's gonna be kind of hard to tie a loop around it. And so tied a slip knot around it and that seems to be a good start. And I tried to tie it, but it just kept slipping off because, you know, it's slippery. And now I think I'm going to tie three little holes, or not holes, but slots for the string to go into so it won't slip as easily. Which I, I still have a little faith for, but I think it'll work better. And I think if this does work, this will be the f most awesome Xbox controller mod ever. All right, I'll show you some slot making. All right, and so here's my piece. I already had a little bit in it already, but it's really difficult, as you can see. Doing this, you need a really good grip on it. And it's dangerous, dangerous, obviously. So think about this. Let's take it down here. Let's put a lot of pressure on the knife instead what that works just as badly so oh this kitchen knife will never be usable again like i swear to god i can't even see it So let's just try dragging it down from the top here. So the sad thing about this knife is that it gets wider as it gets down to the bottom. And so that means the serrate is small. And as it tries to get more done, it just comes in contact with the metal and makes it harder to do so. Like, if you look, I don't know if you can see the detail on this, but it's starting to form a triangle and not even fucking straight to the center, geez, that's embarrassing. But it's starting to form a triangle and it's gonna not allow the serrade to do its best work. Disappointing, but you know, I don't think I need I just need a little more thickness and this will be good. I'll come back when the rest are done. Don't know if you can tell, but I'm obviously in the bathroom because of the giant curtain behind me. And I'm sitting here thinking, God, I hope he's not deep dumping all this plastic shit into the sink right next to him, which I'm not, I'm doing my part to dump it into this trash can. I'm cleaning up some beard shavings as well with a wet wipe and of course it's not me that shaves um but what i did was i created a little slit next to it to make it bigger which seems like an obvious solution but i like it See, obviously it was gonna happen doing something so fucking stupid got my first little nick on my finger there no time to go again 
well all in all that didn't take too long um no oh shit fucking back like that um didn't take too long only got one cut which did surprise me i was very happy with the lack of cuts um final result let's hold it looks better from this way Since COVID cut short my geometry class, my 60 degree, fuck, I don't even know if I got that right. My 120 degree angles are pretty awful, but hopefully they'll still do. I might have to touch up, but yeah, I'm satisfied. I thought I had it, and it just came right off. But, oh my gosh, hold on. Twist the other way, and it's really, 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 really stable. Wow. Well, except for this way, but look this way. Good. Oh my gosh. Look, I'm putting a bunch of pressure on it. That's really good. I'll have to tie that again. You know, I'm so, I thought I was so smart. I, I fused the two ends of this rope together. I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm so smart. And then obviously I tried to wrap it around. It fucking didn't work. And I just didn't get a rubber band. I, I, I sawed everything in this and I didn't even get a rubber band oh my god get a rubber band okay so I figured out how to install these which you might, you might be thinking god it's e easier than that right You're, this guy's so dumb but turns out the three prongs are useful very useful actually as a matter of fact so first of all I don't know if you guys know what a rainbow loom is but you're gonna want to take three of those rubber bands from a rainbow loom or something of that size and then fuck I did this so well just before I recorded myself and so you're going to want to take three looms from a rainbow band and feed it just like this and then you want to make sure it's notched in the rubber band and then as soon as it is put it over the head the sari stick Bam, there's one. Alright, and then let's rotate it to this one, which is the widest one of my variants. So, as you can see, it doesn't really matter how wide you do it, because as long as it's about an odd level, it should still work. There we go. And then these are in the notches. And then you feed it over, and all the rubber bands are holding in the notches. level for some reason. I guess this one isn't either. And then, oh shoot, do the same thing here. Make sure it's in the notches. Grab it, feed it over, bam. Oh my gosh, you got it. Okay, it's, hopefully you don't yank on this thing because it's obviously not that strong, but I mean, damn, it does its job pretty well. I don't know. And this way, you don't have to tear up your controller. <laughs> oh my god, that is so shoddy. But it kind of looks kind of good. I don't know, if you do the geometry well. Oh my god, I'm really surprised. There we go, and now you have your own control freak. It won't fall off if you, if you whack it with your thumb. And if it does, it's not too hard of an installation. But yeah, that's it, guys. Wow, jeez. Just a little note. Um, the deeper your cuts are on the sorry piece, the least likely, or the less likely, proper grammar, the rubber bands are to slide out of place, because you see here, this one is kind of shallow, and this one slides out of place pretty easily, so make sure those cuts are nice and deep, and they will stay in place no matter what. I might actually go and redo this, but yeah. I hope this was a helpful little tutorial, or cute little video. And I hope it works well for y'all.